What's going on guys, it's Stockpicks by Tim here, and in this video I'm going to go over Workhorse, we're just going to check out the overall market, but this is going to be a focused Workhorse video, we're going to look at the chart there, see what the analysts think of tip ranks, and let's get right into it, all I ask is hit the like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, definitely helps me out, and let's first off look at trading view, see what the market's doing. And as you can see today by just this cloud of gray here, we have a relatively flat day. A lot of stocks are up less than 1%. We have a few outliers, you know, Tesla's up 3.5%, definitely had a great day yesterday. Uh, Amazon half a percent down. In general, we are pretty dang flat today. Now, really quick glancing at Bitcoin, we broke out, broke out of this channel. We also broke our resistance of about 21,700. And Bitcoin is currently struggling to hold that. I personally want to see it at the very least try to hold 21 if not this roughly 20,800 we definitely have a weak support in that area and if all else fails at the very least I want to see us hold over 20,000 because we would still be respecting this upward channel but that's Bitcoin and the overall market let's look at what workhorse is doing I wanted to give you an update there and we do have an important date coming very soon and first off looking at workhorse over here on tip ranks we do have four analysts rating it uh, to a buy, to a hold, zero sells. We've got an average price target of about 625, highest price target of 11, lowest price target of 3. And I do expect some more analysts to cover this one very soon, likely after our next earnings. And I'm going to go into that right now. Now, Workhorse is expecting to release their earnings roughly August the 8th. This is not confirmed, but it is going to be around this date. But this date was, of course, just derived from algorithms. But it is going to be around this time, about a month out. So get ready. This is going to be a huge earnings for Workhorse, and I believe I've said that the last time, but this one's going to be big as well. And as a side note, guys, they have been updating their Facebook, you know, getting into social media a little bit more, letting their presence be known. And this is nice because they were awful quiet for a while uh, when the company was transitioning over to the new executives. But it's nice to see that they are actually posting relatively regularly. And really quick, I went into the SEC filings here, and we don't have a whole lot. We do have a few Form 4s, a little bit of buying, a little bit of selling. Now, uh, this code A, that means acquired. D, that means disposed, so these were sold. So there are no pattern buys or pattern sells. I would say you really can't derive much out of this data here on the Form 4s. I don't think there's anything really executives are preparing for or avoiding. All right, guys, but let me know what you think about Workhorse down below, and we're going to look at the chart. We do have a beautiful pattern forming, and it is still respecting it. Looking at WKHS on the chart, you will see that we're on a beautiful pattern, and we're still in a gorgeous uptrend. This one, just like many others, reached its low point May 12th, May 11th, hit about 2.14. Oh, since then we did dip as low as 250 but you definitely want to get ready for this one if we do start testing lower levels i definitely want to see workhorse bounce off of this channel here but it does look like it has a pretty clear resistance right around this 320 area we do have quite a few points that pop right here so if we were to break nicely out of 320 i'd say even about better yet 325 just to confirm that breakout very likely we can push further but for now, it is a bit range bound, kind of in an upward channel. There's no reason for me to think that this can't continue to trend higher, especially as we come up to earnings. While yes, the overall market is down, yes, a lot of stocks are beaten down, a lot of failures priced in, there's a lot of pessimism there. I do think Workhorse will see a little bit of speculation coming up to this earnings. It is a bit of a pivotal moment. We're supposed to be getting more information about actual vehicle production any partnership news, any drone information. That's gonna be big in my opinion. They have been making moves behind the scenes in terms of their drones. But that's all I got for you today, guys. What do you think about WKHS? Are you holding? Are you a buyer at these prices? Or are you gonna avoid it like the plague? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great weekend.